welcome to A Life Full of Meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn and together we sold a house, we got rid of all of our stuff and we moved on board a narrow boat called Nutshell and here we are. And here we are. Well, this week has been interesting, let's just been call it that. Testing. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Or we could, we, or we could say it's been an adventure. Yeah. It's been a, yeah. It was good to be out. It was good to be out, yeah. but there was some things that happened throughout the week that we didn't foresee. So, yeah, so let us show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. We're moored at Marsworth and today we're going down the Ellsbury Arm. So the Ellsbury Arm I think is just over six miles long. There's 19 locks and that includes a staircase lock. So if you don't know, a staircase lock is exactly as it sounds. You literally go out of one and into the other. But you have to get the water levels right to make it all work. It makes me a little nervous, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I am going to walk the whole distance because obviously I want to get my steps up. Mr. Warner's just doing his engine checks. We've had a very delicious breakfast and I'm going to get my walking boots on and get cracking. Some of the bridges on the Ellsbury Arm are a little bit low. Glenn's going to try and take the chimney off. Ooh. Mr. Warner untying. I've got the windlass. It's random things you see on the towpath. The staircase lock. Du, du, du. So, first one's empty. We'll definitely need to fill that. But I need to check this one over here. So, these are the only staircase locks on the Grand Union South Waterway. The middle gate joins the top and the bottom. Please ensure the bottom lock is empty and the paddles are closed before emptying the top lock. So that one's empty and all paddles are shut. So we have to fill this up. It's a deep one this is. There we go. Got to fill it all the way up. There's a green mop handle in that lock. I'm going to try and dig it out before it causes any issues see if I can reach it. I don't think it is a mop handle because it's wooden. Yeah, there we go. Ew. Canal water. Oh, hopefully they won't be all as heavy as that one. Here he comes. So this lock doesn't have the paddles on the gates. It has them over here. Well, that was like tackling a beast, that was. The water is gently filling this lock here. There we go, they're the same level now. Just got to shut this paddle, then cross over and open that gate. Here we go. So Mr. Warner comes out of one lock straight into the other. I can't help but say Mr. Warner does look very handsome in his hat. I love a man in a hat. Mr. Warner's getting out, giving us a hand, shutting the gate. So that's why I like single locks. Right. Did I mention there was 19 locks on this flight? Mr. Warner was helped through the lock by another boat while I was shutting that one, so that's good. We're on to the next one. go it doesn't take long to fill these little locks up Mr Warner's bobbing about there right that's almost full now God, I'm glad I had my breakfast this morning 
Some of these are really heavy. Just look at this countryside. It's beautiful. And that blue sky. Having a boat going in to the next lock means that every single lock we're going to come to is not going to be in our favour. Unless we cross with another boat, that is. How kind is that? The boat that's just gone through has come back and set the lock for us. Oh, that is so kind of them. Look, we're ready to go in. Well, there's so much water in this stretch of the canal that the towpath down there is flooded. I've just walked through massive, massive puddles. My feet are soaking. Through he goes. Next lock's just down there. Towpath's really flooded though. There's that much water in the system. Don't even need to open the paddles. Look, it's just flowing in there. So we're at lock 14, we're doing very well. I've just walked a very long way. The fam famous Aylesbury Arm weed. Yeah, so the Aylesbury Arm is known for its weedy canal, but we haven't actually ha encountered much weed until we came down to this lock. And can I just show you, just, can you see that? You could thatch a roof with that, couldn't you? And that's just not it, there's more over there. There's more down there. There's a whole lot of weed here. Mr. Warden's been on his hands and knees, getting more out. Up until this point, this stretch has been absolutely lovely. Oh man, it's like winter all over again. We're on the outskirts of Aylesbury now, not far. So here's Circus Field Basin. Do you remember we stayed there for a week, a couple of years ago? Absolutely wonderful place to stay. And they offer visitors one or two weeks free moorings there. So absolutely lovely place to stay. This stretch of the canal was where I felt flat on my face last time we came down here. I jumped off the boat, got my foot twisted on a rope, fell flat on my face. Oh, you should have seen me jump up. I'm getting hot and tired now. All I want is a sit down, cup of tea and a cold shower. This is lock 16. I'm sure there was 19 in this stretch, but I don't know where the, the other three are because I thought we were almost there now. So this bridge coming up is Mr. Warner's nemesis. So it's a really narrow bridge with a little bit of a, a turn to the canal and a boat. And the trouble is, it's because Nutshell's so long, she doesn't clear the whole of the bridge before Mr. Warren has to start turning. Slow and steady. I just had a really lovely welcome to Ellsbury Basin. The trip boat was going past. She shouted, hello, welcome to Ellsbury Basin. She told us that the pontoons were two weeks, everywhere else was seven days, and there's plenty of room down there. Pontoons around here. Here we go. Mr. Warner manoeuvring. We're moored up, kettle is on. I'm gonna go and have a shower. Do you know how many miles I did today? My watch said I did 6.99. Felt a lot longer. Good Monday morning. Here we are, Aylesbury Basin. And I've just spotted the place called Basin Cafe. And it's open. So I'm going to walk around there and get some coffee. So I've got my coffee. It's actually Costa, but it's an independent. They've only been open since September and it's been a bit up and down. So fingers crossed. You come down to Aylesbury Basin, there's a nice cafe over there and they do food as well. Well, I think it's time we go for a stroll. Let's see what Aylesbury has to offer. It's another beautiful day out here. I wonder when the theatre's reopening. 
Lots of outdoor eating places here. Lots of people out enjoying the sunshine. A couple of years ago, we came here and I explained that this market square is where Glen used to have a market stall. <laughs> it, was, it was just about there. Yeah. And this is the town I was actually born in. I was born in Ellsbury. My mum moved here when she was two years old with my nan and her dad. This is very much hometown. So this was the spot of the second market still. Well, I think Ellsby still has a market. Huh? Ellsby still has a market, but yeah, not on a Monday. So while we were out, I got a telephone call from Dick, who lives in Ellsbury, and he says that he's left us something in our well deck. So it was a real shame to miss him. What's going on here, That's Mr. Where Warner? That used to be. Okay. And I've got to just seal that plate, and then obviously I'll paint over it. So I've packed it out with polystyrene insulation because that's where we used to get down. Oh, how lovely! Thank you, Dick. Thank you. While we're in town, we bought some of these cod liver oil and fish oil tablets. Oh, are we getting old or what? And some Amiga Seed Mix. Episode 13 of Narrowboat Vloggle launches in about half an hour. Well, it's all go at Ellsbury Basin. I think it's some sort of training exercise. There's no emergency. Now they've got two hoses. Now they've got this one going on. I mean, I did wonder if they'd uh, give the boat a wash. <laughs> Lisa, what does it remind you of? I don't know. It's like the Bellagio. <laughs> oh, Vegas, it's in Aylesbury. <laughs> Bellagio. You just need a bit of music. <laughs> Look, all the hoses. Wow. You couldn't pay for this entertainment, Glenn. No. Well, we got it free. Good morning to you and welcome to Tuesday. Today, we're making our way back up the Ellsbury arm. I'm not sure if we're going to get all the way to the top. We might stop halfway. Who knows? We'll literally see how we get on. And we're off. Not very far though. We're just stopping at that building over there. Fill up with some water. Empty the Elson. And then we'll be on our way. The fire brigade are back. More hose training, maybe. Righty, off we go. Towpath's a lot quieter now than it was on Sunday. I think every boater that goes past this house has house envy. Well, the first lock of the day is not in our favour. It's like a waterfall coming over those gates. Right, first job. Let's get this empty. Look how much water's flowing over that gate. I was a bit worried I wasn't going to be able to get that gate open with that sort of water coming in, but I've managed it. Look at that going over there. I don't even think I'm going to open the paddles when Glenn gets in. Ben's got a big, big twig. Oh, leave that behind, Mr. Warner. I can't shut the lock gate because of that twig, so I'm going to have to get it out. There we go. Glenn's dropped his phone in the water. It's got a big coronavirus thing in it. It's got... It's got everything. What? What? What a nightmare. His whole life is on that phone. What a donkey. I've got, you know, open, open no chance really. No, very small chance of fishing that out. Fortunately, we do have phone insurance. Mm. Not with that sort of phone. No. I can't remember really, to be honest with you. You've got, you got no chance, have you? No. It'll still be on the 
I don't know what Mr. Warner's going to do without his phone. All the drama going on today. This paddle's left up. I wonder if this is a leave empty lock. This will explain why there was so much water coming down. I'm jumping on board for a little bit. We're back at the weedy lock. Well, this journey, Mr. Warner says the engine's making a funny noise. We might have to stop for a little bit. That don't sound good at all. Our engine never makes a funny noise. Anyway, Mr. Warner's going to nurse it just past these two boats in front of us, and then we'll stop and we'll have a look. Oh, let's find out. Miss Fan belt. Lucky enough. Oh, lucky enough. That is lucky, Mr. Warner. A cup of tea. Okay. Mr. Warner, you do that, and I am going to put the kettle on and make you a cup of tea. The bottom fan belt is flipped over. I'm not sure why, but I'll get it off. I've got a new one anyway. I don't know what's quite happened. It sort of flipped over on itself. Maybe it just came a bit loose. Maybe I need to tighten it up. Anyway, let's get it off and get a new one on. So there's the fending item. It is proper mullered. I don't know what's happened to that. Let's just check the alternator. Yeah, the alternator's still good. Pulley's still all right. I nearly changed these when I did all the work, last bit of work on it, but they didn't look too bad, so I didn't bother. So um, I don't know what's quite happened. It's obviously started to fray and then caught on itself and then flipped itself over. Anyway, I'll have a new one. If there's one thing you always carry with you, it's a fan belt. We didn't have a spare. This, this, is, a, this is a recent purchase. And boy, I'm glad I've got it. I will be replacing this and getting another one. Um, so I have a brand new, well, I have, I have two, one smaller than the other, and it's the smaller one that's gone. So this is going on. So even after having a spare fan belt, it's too long. So I need a slightly shorter belt. So today, so far, I've broken the engine, lost my phone. What can I say? Tell you what though, my phone's meant to be waterproof and it turned itself off pretty much straight away, it went in the drink. Anyway, the first time for everything I suppose. So, what's going on now Mr Warner? Um, Liam's going to get one from Alfred's or something similar. Right. Well, it's not a bad place to break down. Absolutely overrun with so many kind offers to come and help us. Liam's on his way, he's picked up a fan belt. he's going to bring it to us. We should be able to get on our way. We're just mooring up drinking cups of tea glenn has found his old phone dug it out from under the bed got it fired up he can't ring anybody and no one can ring him but at least he can log on to like facebook and messenger which he uses quite a lot all in all everything's under control the rescue team's arrived glenn's refit it will it work oh guys thank you and we are off Ta -da! Bridge number 11 of the Ellsbury Arm. There's a lot coming up in the distance, so I've said to Glenn to drop me off at this bridge and then I can walk up and get it ready. Man, there's like not even an inch to spare as we go through this bridge. Wow, just look how full this lock is. Let's get it emptied. So that's draining now. But look how much water's coming in down the other end.
teamwork makes the dream work. This swan is refusing to get out of the way. Oh, moving over begrudgingly. Due to leakage, leave the chamber empty with the bottoms, paddles raised. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh, look at that. It's like a joy. Can't tell you how good that is. Oh, got to remember to leave this empty. Lock number 11. The lock built in 1860. It's half past four and I don't think we're actually going to go much further. It doesn't matter if, if we don't get to the top of the arm tonight. There's no big rush. We'll probably go through the next lock and more just the other side of there. Oh, today has been a tough day boating. Not a bad spot for the night. And finally, the third thing to happen today, we've just stopped, moored up, we're both hot, sweaty. Mr. Warner says, I'm going to get in the shower first. He just does a shower and the shower floods because it's blocked. So Mr. Warner's currently unblocking the shower. It's all go today. Just to make everything a tad more tricky, we have mobile phone cover that we get through our bank account. Our bank account is changing its insurance provider tomorrow. So we're trying to get through to the insurance company that's covering it until today. Glenn's been on the phone for some time waiting. Good morning and welcome to... What day is it? Wednesday! had to look at the calendar there i was pretty sure it was tuesday no it is wednesday so we are halfway up the ellsbury arm after yesterday's disastrous day today i have diabetes prevention class starting in about 45 minutes and then we're gonna get on our way so back up to the arm i'm a bit worried about that staircase lock going in it from this angle I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine but i'll just be glad when that's done and then i think we're gonna head all the way back uh to our mooring glenn's been trying to get through to the insurance company this morning about his phone he's having no joy so as we said yesterday so our bank swapped insurance providers yesterday so the new insurance provider is saying that we need to contact the old insurance provider they're not answering the phone glenn's just going around in circles i'm in a right bad mood yeah i mean diabetes prevention's put me in a bad mood glenn's put me in a bad mood well not glenn but barclays tech insurance has put me in a bad mood um yeah let's let's just get out and do some locks it's colder out here today this is a nice turn of events not so mr warner has to reverse back vibe about today you know great reversing skills by mr warner by the way well that was like the shortest trip ever now we're in out of the wind let me tell you what's going on so the Ellsbury arm is shut no boats can leave the paddle on gate one has broken it's going to take a couple of days apparently so we just got to sit here and wait here we are this is the stoppage 
This is what it says. Please be advised that Ellsby Arm Lock 1 paddle rod has become disconnected again and requires permanent repairs. This has caused a stoppage to use to use of lot one we'll update this notice as more information is provided and apparently this happened two o'clock yesterday afternoon so what are we going to do mr warner i don't know i've got to walk back to Aylesbury. where i haven't got to to get my phone sorted out in the three shop in, in Aylesbury. or i'm going to walk to ivanhoe and get the car and park it in wilston and then you could drive to Aylesbury yeah. and get your phone sorted and out and bring the car here because if we, you, you never know with the crt don't it sometimes it can end up being weeks don't say that well, don't say that i need to message vicky she's coming to visit us tomorrow at the moorings mm -hmm. and i messaged her this morning to say we'd be back now I've got a messenger and say we're we're Wilson. on the Ellsbury Arm. Come find us. We'll stay. At least we're near a village. So. Yeah, at least we're near a village. So I'm just gonna have a walk into the village just around the corner here. It's literally just around the corner here. Take it with me. And see if there's somewhere I can park the car without upsetting anyone. There is a shop and pub here. We have a plan. Or oh, we like a good plan, don't we? So, Mr. Warner, tell us your plan so we're an hour and 13 minutes away walking up the canal um to get to the car so i'm going to walk up get the car go to Aylesbury. yeah sort my sim card out yeah get my phone get some shopping come back here if yeah. i can park i'll bring the stuff back if not i'll drop the stuff off i'll get you to come and get it yeah and then i'll take the car back and i'll, I'll cycle down on the on my bike back from ivanhoe I sort of want the car and I sort of don't want the car. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a hassle and that having to have the car, but we could be stuck here. We, well, you never know, that could go peak tong. I'm going to have a word with the chaps at the top and see what they say anyway. So I've just had a chat with the guy from CRT. Basically, the middle paddle, which is in lock one, um, is quite old, it's made out of oak and it's been playing up for a while. Um, slipping off and stuff and um, basically uh, he's waiting for the bits he said you know years ago they would have uh, they would have just taken it out and got it sorted out but unfortunately there's a lot more health and safety issues they've got to check it for gas because it's a confined space and then at the moment apparently just getting spare parts um, is a real issue and apparently a lot of that to do with the sewage canal blockage a lot of we're, we're really low on building materials all the builders merchants are running out of stuff and they're trying to get stuff from everywhere so anyway basically doesn't look like it's going to be a mega quick fix um, he's hoping to have it out today and then he's hoping to be able to piece something together and put it he said it probably end up being a bodge but he hoping to have it back together by tomorrow night but he can't promise anything so he said uh, we could be stuck in worse places mrs warren's done this walk a few times it's not far to get the car about oh, just under an hour of walk i think so this is seabrook mooring this is brownlow and you can just see the tops of uh ivano turfs haulage lorries over there so not far at all now I've just got to walk down to the lock, cross over, get the car. We're so close now. There's Mrs Warner's car in the background. Well, Mr Warner has been gone for quite some time. Hopefully he's getting on all right. I can't even ring him because obviously he hasn't got a phone. I've had a busy old morning, a very busy morning. I have actually booked a holiday while Mr Warner's been gone. I don't know what he's going to think of that, but I'm going to take my mum down to see my brother. I'm also trying to book in to the Somerset Heritage Centre so I can do a bit of family research while I'm down there. It's all, it's all been go this morning. I've just walked six miles, gone to get the car, gone into Aylesbury, gone in the three shop who I have been we've been a customer with for flipping ages and the phone's in Mrs Warner's name. Oh sorry there's nothing I can do. You can't speak to her on the phone, you can't do anything. No no sorry I can't do anything. So I am absolutely fuming. I've now got to drive back to Wheelstone. Um, get Mrs Warner 
and see if she'll come back with me to go and get this this card so what a nightmare this is i'm back at the three shop to get mr warner's sim card sorted out thank you thank you all sorted all sorted they got it done we're all sorted right now find mr warner it's been a stressy day on our way back now stopped at the supermarket we got some food Mr. Warner's on the phone to the bank again to try and get through to the insurance company. Unable to access it. Press two. It's several hours later. Mr. Warner! Phone coming! <laughs> Good morning to you and welcome to Thursday. Mr. Warner has been persistent. Yeah, he's been on hold. He got cut off three times. It didn't he deter him. Didn't phase me. He just kept going. Anyway, all sorted. New phone arriving in a couple of days. We're still on the Ellsbury Arm. We may stroll up to lock one, see how work is progressing. But not this morning though, because Vicky is coming to visit us. I love it when we get to meet people who watch our videos. For me, it like evens out the sort of strange YouTube relationship where you know stuff about us and I know nothing about you. Vicky and Mike are coming, I think they said around 11, 11.30ish. The plan was that we'd be back at the mooring and we could sit outside, but Vicky and Mike, they're going to bring their chairs, sit out on the towpath. Pastry was on special in Morrison's yesterday, so sausage roll making going on this morning. Anyway, I better crack on and I will catch you later. Mr. Warner has returned from the local shop. What can you report? Lots of chats. Um, it's a community run shop, that's why it's not open like all day. Yeah. And then I've got in here yeah. homemade, what you got? What homemade you got? bread pudding. <gasps> oh, Look at that. that's a big chunk, isn't yeah. it? These are the sausage rolls I made. These are the, the two cheeky turnovers that Mr. Warner just bought from the shop that I've heated up. They'll do nicely. Wow. This is a solid bit of kit, this is. Look, Look at you're that. You're not supposed to go in underneath there. Yeah. Go in underneath there. Yeah. And that bit, lifts up to put any trinkets in. Mobile phones. <laughs> and if you've got a, if you've got a um, tablet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You there. can do mm. that. Yeah. Well, that is great. To sit on top of the um, slider. Yeah, excellent. And put, and put your cups in there. That is brilliant. Thank you so Thank you. much. Mr. Warner won't be losing his mobile phone again. It no. will be secured. Well, hopefully that will float. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just had such a lovely time with Vicky and Mike. And what an amazing present I've got there. That's going to be so useful. The lock is open and we can get going. Mr. Warner's keen. Five past three. We've got five, five hours till it gets dark. Right? Okay. I want to do this. Okay, Mr. Warner. Let's do this. Let's go. First lock of the day. Empty. This lock built in Here we are, Blackjack's number four. I can't tell you what a beautiful afternoon it is. It's just glorious. The next lock is the staircase. Yeah, dun, dun, dun. So what I'm thinking, top lock should be full, bottom lock should be empty. We go into the bottom lock, let the water from the top lock into the bottom lock, then go and then refill the top lock. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, all right. We'll see. Okay, let's do this. So 
So Glenn's in that lock and it's empty. I've started filling this lock so I can let the water down and open these gates. Now I've got to use this middle paddle. This is the one that broke to empty this. Yeah, so I think that's how you do it basically. Yeah, perfect. Phew. That worked out all right. Just got to shut this now. Well, else beyond, it's been an adventure. adventure. There's a lot going on at this junction. We've got a whole lot of boats, including a wide beam and a narrow beam moored together. I said to Glenn I'd jump on further down so he can concentrate on getting the boat round. So Mrs Warner was the don at the staircase lock, went all fine, two locks into uh, our journey back to Ivano. We're going to do it tonight, it's about past five now. Um, we should be back about, we reckon about 7, 7.30, it'll still be light, so that's cool. Mrs Warner is just there, lock keeper. Anyway, I better go and concentrate. So, we're back. I've had a shower. Mr. Warner's gone to pick up the car. I'm going to get dinner on. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Friday. We are back in Ivanhoe after Mrs. Warner's gallant efforts to do the locks last night. We managed to get back here about half past seven. No, it was earlier than that. Actually. I think it was more like seven. Anyway, we're back. We're the other way around though. So we're ready to go north. Jules Shields is coming today. I've asked her to top us up with fuel and I need a new gas bottle, so I need to take that out. I've just noticed our bottom of our uh, gas tank's getting a little bit rusty, so I need to treat that at some time point. It was painted not that long ago, well, a couple of few years ago, but best to keep on top of it before it gets really rusty. So I'm just sitting here waiting for the van to come back. Then I'll be heading off to Northampton. It's a lovely day out here. Good morning and welcome to Friday. I think Mr Warner's already said hello. I have lots of washing to do today. So I need to switch the generator on, get the washing on. Uh, I need to water my seeds. We got back last night and it looked a bit dry. So need to water my seeds. And yeah, I'm just pottering about the boat. I've been up early this morning. I got up at six o'clock to finish watching narrow boat vlogs for Vloggle. So I just got to the office, loads of printing out to do, loads of, a few dispatches for Mrs. Warner. Yeah, I'm just gonna crack on with it because I've got quite a bit to do today. I'm gonna go and water the seeds with me tiny watering can. At least I haven't got far to walk when we're around this way. If you look where I dropped the lettuce seeds, oh yes, we've got lettuces are coming. Plants watered, generator on, time to do some washing. Oh my goodness. The washing machine sounded as if it was like an Apache helicopter. Man, there's something not right with that. Washing's nearly finished. I thought it was going to blow up. So I was just on my computer, tried to open my emails, came up with some error in the Outlook. Anyway, so I've had to then restore the system to an earlier date. So this is the big moment to see whether my Outlook now opens again. So let's see. I, I restored it to six, seven days ago because uh, I haven't really done much since then. So I just need to see if my now my, now my Outlook's going to open. So here we go. It's opening and it wasn't getting as far as that before. So sweet. I can get into my emails, thankfully. I thought I was going to lose all that. Oh no, hold on, here we go. Uh, no, still not working. Today, I am starting me the Fast 800 shakes. Oh yes, two shakes a day. High in fibre, low in sugar, high protein. Oh, it's got it all going on. Source of vitamins and minerals. Two of these and one hasty nutritious meal. That's going to show diabetes who's boss. This is the 
anti-diabetes diet that's formulated by Michael Mosley, who wrote The Blood Sugar Diet and, and other books on the matter. So I feel I'm in good hands. I'm going to give it a go. I know you're taking bets on how long this is going to last. This is a 12-week program. You can't stay on it forever. Yeah, 12 weeks. That's all it is. That's all it needs, apparently. So, let's give it a go. Oh, you can mix it with water or dairy or non-dairy milk. Shall I give it a go with water first? Yeah, let's do that. 300 mils of water and five scoops of that. One, five. Mmm, that looks tasty. I've given it a good shake. Shall we see what it tastes like? Oh, please let it taste lovely. Coconut. -y. Smells like suntan lotion. That's all right. I'm going to pour it into a, a nice glass and then I can kid myself that it's a non alcoholic pina colada. Mm, that's all right. Pina colada. Mmm. Yum. So it looks like my computer's got it in for me as well this week. Um, I will um, have to have a look at that when we get back to the boat this afternoon. It's going to take some take some effort. Washing on the line. What a perfect drying day out there. Just finished Grown Ups. It's got all five stars from me. The search now begins for the next audio book. Any suggestions, let me know. Jules Fuel's just arriving. That was perfect timing. I've just finished my work and Mr Warner has come in with packages. Oh, this is exciting. Your new phone's come. And it's not new. It's refurbed. Yeah. Tested for full functions and ready to use. So, I have a whole host of parcels here. It's like Christmas. Changing of seasons requires changing of clothes. You know that I have a very small, compact wardrobe. I do Project 333, so that's 33 items for three months. So when I was thinking about compiling my summer wardrobe, I realised there were some gaps. So over the last few weeks, I've been picking a few items don't forget everything's got to go with everything because I'm building a capsule wardrobe. So I've been buying items. There are, is a chance that they may not fit or suit me. If that's the case, they go straight back on eBay. Oh, I forgot about this one. So this is a dress. I thought this season we may as well dress it up a bit. Ooh, have to try it on see what we think not sure about that one it's in here i'm hoping these are a pair of gray pumps that i've ordered little card in there it's not my shoes this is a gift from someone this is from soul and debbie from barely floating it's been a pleasure getting to know you we know you like chili jam so here's our offering from up north oh delish there i was thinking it was shoes this is much more exciting than shoes made in cumbria oh this sounds delicious damson and chili ketchup that sounds delicious man we have got so much good food to try thank you barely floating now this one is my shoes i think Oh, I don't know, I'm not taking anything for granted anymore. Here we go. Just like they were in the picture. Look at these. These are flamboyantly casual, Glenn. Just look at those beauties. I think I'm going to really like those. So, just plain blue trousers there. Liking those. Liking those. And this, I'm, I'm really hoping, should be a grey dress. This one, I'm excited about. It's grey, it's long. Look at this, got a label on, 69 quid. I think I paid 13 quid for it. Oh, I like that. 
gonna try all those on in a bit chocolate one now the verdict on the chocolate shake i prefer the coconut one oh what a lovely surprise our friends duncan and dave were passing by they've stopped and had a cup of tea we all sat out on glenn's bench had a cup of tea perfect oh and i didn't eat any chocolate biscuits right gonna make some salmon parcels oh i love a bit of salmon in there got some ginger some garlic some soy sauce let's just let's just cover that wrap those up this dressing one tablespoon of soy sauce two teaspoons of sesame oil one tablespoon of white wine vinegar one tablespoon of olive oil and one teaspoon of sugar i didn't have any white wine vinegar so i used cider vinegar i'm just gonna mix that all around here we go mr warner some deliciousness here good morning to you and welcome to saturday we are gonna go and see my mum because i didn't see her on wednesday we're gonna pop in say hello glenn needs to get a phone case for his new phone and glenn has bought some sort of engine from northampton that he wants to pick up we better get on i had to go back in for my bottle don't want to forget that outboard engine purchase oh mr warner tell me about this one it was sold it it came and popped up it was only because it was local that i thought would have it because i've got another one that i could do with some of the spares for because it was sold as spares looking at it it's complete so it just looks like it's been standing for an awful long time and also the bloke chucked in a proper outboard engine um, stand things are back to normal mrs warner yeah traffic's definitely back to normal it seems like we've sat in a traffic queue uh, yeah wherever we've gone today the blossom along this street is beautiful we've just left my mum's we've come to morrison's glenn is going to go and buy a new phone case i am going to pick up a few bits for oliver's birthday party tomorrow get some fuel and then on the way back to the boat we'll stop at miramar's for a cup of tea and a catch-up so if you're wondering what mr warner's doing he has got these like bump stops on have you got it no he's got these bump stops on the on this metal bit down here so that the bow bumps along those and they've all fallen off so he's got a net and he's hoping to fish them out You managed to find two out of three. Yeah, so well, I'll go with that. well done. So there we have it. What a week that was. Oh. Spent more time on the phone this week than I've, I have done for the last year. Aside from breaking down, aside from you dropping your phone in the canal, aside from all the insurance shenanigans, it was a good week. Was nice to get it was lovely to be yeah. out. And now we are pointing in this Point direction. More. So we should be heading to Banbury in a couple of weeks. About three mid, or... Well, it's about three weeks. Yeah. About three mid, or four mid, weeks. Mid, mid, mid May ish. Yeah. I come back from Somerset with my mum on May the 15th and we'll be leaving sometime after that. Got a couple of things to tell you. Number one, the marathon has changed date yeah they've moved the date to the 2nd of october the date as it was june the 19th was technically still within lockdown so they've decided to move the event so it's out of lockdown mm. so that's okay what i mustn't do is stop training but i know what will happen is if i stop training it will come to like three weeks before the marathon and i'll be like ah no. that's not the plan when october the second comes around i'm going to be so ready i'm going to be so ready for you're that. at it first here i'm going to say hello to sandra preston not yes. not not our not our, not my mother-in-law and lisa's mum sandra preston but sandra from america yes who is an avid watcher yes of our videos and we just wanted to say hello and hope she's feeling better yes 
big hello to Sandra from the States mm. and I hope you're feeling much better. So all our love to you. Also, it's not the only message. I feel a bit bad about this one. So Robert got in touch and said that him and his wife, Emma, watched the videos and it was their wedding anniversary. And could I say hello to them? And I completely missed the message. So it was their wedding anniversary a couple of weeks ago. So, so belated. Yeah, a very belated happy anniversary to you both. And Robert and Emma, your son, William, also got in touch and said, could I wish you a happy anniversary? And I missed that as well. So apologies to everybody. Can't get the star. Okay, take care. We will see you next week. Hope you have a great one. Thanks for watching. See you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye.